Um, we'll go to Chris Baldwin with Paper City, please. Chris, go ahead. Marcus, you, you, you missed your first six shots, but you, you know, still end up with 19. Do you ever lose, lose confidence? Then how do you sort of keep that, you know, when you get off to sort of a slow start? Just my teammates kept telling me every time I went to the bench to um, keep shooting the ball. You know, um, coach tell me all the time, he don't care how many I miss, just keep shooting. So even when I, I am off to a bad start like that, I just um, keep shooting and gaining confidence because my teammates still got confidence in me, even though I miss it. All right, we'll go to Joseph Duarte from the Houston Chronicle. Joseph, go ahead, sir. Marcus, how long were you on campus before Coach Sampson told you about the holy trinity of rebounding, defense, and taking care of the ball? Um, that was like one of the first things you learn when you come here um, is the culture. You know, um, he don't care about talent or none of that. All he cares about is culture. And, you know, um, I think this group with the leaders we have on our team, um, our three seniors, um, they're doing a good job of, you know, just – Taking, taking what he said to the court, you know, just culture every day and practice and in the game, so. All right, we'll go to Chris Gardner from Houston Round Ball Review. Chris, go ahead, sir. Marcus, do you have extra motivation when uh, Houston plays SMU? Just a little bit, you know. Just get up for any game, really, you know. Come out, I ain't, you know, it's not just – one of the big games just on my list. It's just a game I just come out to. So nothing, nothing special, Houston Dallas matchup, uh, anything like that. Not in Houston. Probably when we go back to Dallas, then yeah. But uh, I'm not in Houston. Appreciate it. We'll go to Andy Yanez from the Cougar. Andy, go ahead, please, sir. Marcus, what would you say was the biggest difference, just? In terms of offense. Andy, I think you, question, you broke uh, up there a little bit. Can you can you try again? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Go ahead, Andy. From your perspective, what was the biggest difference on offense or not? Can y'all? Uh, all right. So my internet connection is unstable. Yeah. It, okay. Jeff, he's gonna ask it on mine. Marcus, uh, my question for you is really from your perspective, what, what was the biggest difference on offense between the first, the half, first and half and second half? Um, just better looks. You know, um, first half, um, coach told me I was working too hard for my shots, and he told me to just calm down. And then um, second half, you know, I just had better open looks so I can take my time and just knock the shot down. Okay, we'll go to Chris Baldwin, please, from Paper City. Chris, go ahead. Uh, Mar Marcus, did, did you did you realize the national you know championship trophy w was in the building and having that around does does that you know mean anything to you? Did um just it's just motivation you know um we want to get there one day we want to win the national championship also one day so it's just motivation. We'll go back to Joseph Duarte. Joseph, go ahead, sir. Marcus, what do you guys think when, you know, you're, you're taking a shot and, and there's Justin Gorm almost every play underneath the basket or chasing a loose ball, and then you see his totals at the end of the game, 17, 18, 19 rebounds, just uh, on a, a game, you know, game-by-game -game basis that he's doing that? It just relieves a lot of pressure from all the guards, you know. Um, I don't know what we'll do without him, really. Um, just every time, go, every time we shoot a ball, I just know – if we miss it, 50% of the um, misses, he probably going to get. So it just relieve a lot of pressure off us. Okay. 